Okay, so I just had a comment on my recent optimized Ubuntu video, and uh, it's from SRV UK. It's worth trying Ambient 2302 Jammy Gnome after adding the hardware acceleration, I was getting even better results playing 4K60. So let's go to the Ambient website. and just click on download and quite handily it comes up with partners so we've got the banana pie and the orange pie 5 so let's click on the orange pie 5 and scroll down and there's two versions there's one without a desktop interface and I've downloaded this version I use the direct download and there's instructions on this page to install the hardware 3D acceleration so now that's downloaded, I'm going to use Raspberry Pi Imager to write this. Choose OS, use custom, and Ambient 2302.2. Choose my storage. I've got a 32 gig SD card that I had the old Ambient on. Let's pop that in. And hit write, and yes. And come back when that's all done. And now that's all finished. Let's eject the SD card from the back of the Pi and pop it into the orange Pi. Okay, so I've done an update and uh, I think I'm gonna do a, just a check to see what it says is enabled in Chromium. So we type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash GPU and you can see here that, yeah, not very much is enabled by default. So it'll be interesting to see how that changes. Let's do a speed test. So Whirlpool does a browser 3D benchmark, so let's see what happens. Let's go full screen and start the test. Okay, so total score of 813, WebGL 104, Canvas score 405. So let's close that down and see if GLX Gears is already on here. Okay, so let's launch the terminal with Control alt t and type in GLX Gears just to see if this is installed. It's not. So let's install it. And yes. So let's try GLX Gears again. Okay, so let's stop that. Okay, so we'll just concentrate on the first three. Uh, 730, 777 and 802 because it's pretty consistent after that. Let's install something else. GL Mark II, and let's run that. Oh, that terrain looks rough. Okay, so we have a GL Mark II score of 123. So let's see how to install these 3D drivers. So we go to Ambien, and we've got window snapping. We have, uh, and then go to download, Orange Pi. And if we scroll down, you can see we've got all the bits here that we need. So let's add that and enter. And I have had a comment from Fubar Bafu. Good, the Pantros GPU driver can be installed on SBCs like the RK35881's CADAS Edge 2. What about making a video on how to install it in some other OS versions? So it looks like all the 3588 versions should support this. Certainly the ones running Ubuntu and Ambien. So let's copy the next bit in. I wonder if with some of the boards, because the repositories are from those makers, as to whether they'll support it, because you often get errors on a lot of SBCs. But I find Ambient tends to be really good, really well supported. And let's update and upgrade. Okay, I haven't seen any errors at all. Let's paste in the last bit, Mali G610 firmware rock chip. Okay, seems to be all done. I'm gonna reboot it anyway. And remember the lack of support we had before now we've got loads of things that are hardware accelerated uh, and enabled, so much, much better support. So let's try Whirlpool and start test. So let's compare scores. Uh, so on the first test, without any hardware support, uh, the Canvas score was 405 compared to 526 with hardware support. The WebGL score was 104, and we now have a great score of 446. And the total score was 815, and now we're more than double that at 1659. So it's made a huge difference with Whirlpool. So let's close that down and do a bit of GLX gears. Control Alt T, and here it is. So I'm just going to let it do the first three. Okay, so this test doesn't work because 
my monitor is a 60 hertz monitor the other one uh, came up with 3651 frames in five seconds 730 fps for instance and you can see this is much less but it's because it syncs uh, so running synchronized the frame rate should approximately be the same as the monitor refresh okay so let's do the other one so let's click in here control c to stop that and gl mark 2 and come back when that's all done okay so we've gone from 123 on the software version and now the hardware supported version is 845 so a massive improvement on that as well it doesn't seem to mention it on the ambient page but it looks like we've got Liu Zhang Feng to thank for this so great work and anybody else who may be involved in it because this is a huge improvement and let's try a bit of YouTube so let's go full screen let's change it to 4k 60 and turn on stats for nerds so oh, it's still struggling with that and I'm running on a 1080 monitor it might sort itself out if I leave it yeah it's still struggling let's just try one of the other videos just in case uh, you know it's how how the video is let's go for this Costa Rica one because that's the one I used before Still dropping frames. So let's drop it down to 1440 and see what happens. Which is still a very good... I mean, I would watch most things in 1080. Yeah, so that's not dropping frames now. But it has made a remarkable difference. And I did have a request to try it on a different board. So uh, let's try the Caddis Edge 2. Okay, so this is the Caddis Edge 2 running Ubuntu. I'm just updating it now and uh, this is the 16 gig of ram version compared to the 4 gig of ram version of the orange pi 5 that i've got so really pretty much the most expensive compared to the cheapest okay so exactly the same poor support in chromium before the 3d hardware support has been added so let's go into the ambient site and just copy that text in again so many of these uh, rk3588 and 3588s boards tend to be interchangeable in lots of things so let's copy all that over again okay so it's come up with some errors uh, let's just do the last bit anyway and see if it still does it but uh, this is what you get with uh, suppliers versions of Ubuntu and things like that on the RK3588 oh, there you go so it looks like it's not going to do it I think what I need to do is look for the Ambient version and maybe install and try it on that Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.